we are missing rims. We will be dealing with the famous twin. Make it look more sporty, if it's even possible. Give it a bit more respect, like a JDM style. It's a bit lower, it's definitely a bit lower. Hello guys, and as you can see, today we'll be dealing with the famous Twingo, or maybe infamous actually, and we'll be trying our best to make it look more sporty, if it's even possible, to give it a bit more respect, like a JDM style, and it all sounds uh, a bit impossible at the first when you think about it, but yeah, hopefully with some additional parts, some uh, wheels, some extra things. Yeah, you're gonna see. You're gonna see everything in a second, so just be patient and enjoy the video. As you probably can see, behind me is a Twingo uh, without a front suspension. And it doesn't have a front suspension because we will be swapping springs. I managed to find the cheapest springs made of the material I know to the current reality because they cost only 70 bucks for the whole set. Uh, this is interesting and I hope that this will be uh, lower as low and slump to the ground as possible now oh, those are the springs as you can see massive massive we are already in the middle of the work what's missing here is that we are missing rims and I already have the parts which are crucial to put them in this bag. As you can also see, the springs are already in place. Uh, I hope they don't want to break too soon. But speaking about rings, here they are. Here they are. Lovely classic design. I should say, yeah. Lovely classic design uh, with some Falcon tires on them. And th those ones are uh, ZX ZE310. -Z but on the back, we got this 185 9 inch proper fitment yeah <laughs> beast why we cannot put 9 in the front because it will be too wide and we scrap with the uh, arches so that's a shame but 8 is on the edge very on the edge as you can probably as I can probably show you yeah we have some lovely marks here and there but uh, no, here and here or somewhere else. Oh, we are already missing this one, actually, probably because of the front bumper removal. Oh, what a scoop. I wasn't even aware that we have a, such a brilliant aerodynamics in this car. Those rims should be, should look excellent, excellent on this vehicle. That should make a job. Should be fine. Are you fine? Please? Yes! 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 Finally! It's done! Oh! Bing! Bingo! Excellent! Also, also what you can see is that there is no exhaust. And probably in a second you will be able to hear it. Which is astonishing. As you can see, my beloved mechanic is inside Wingo. To hear it for me to do he will do a show for me to hear the car without without the muffler and it already sounds oh <laughs> amazing actually too loud with when uh, when just cutting the converter is left on so what I figured out that I should do just some pipes and that's it without any muffler because it shouldn't be too loud it should be okay it should be just fine spot on but 
the cases, how the how those pipes should go on, what will be the way that it will work perfectly for the twin of power and acceleration. So I start to draw some drawings. I draw this uh, some little lovely curves. I have those lovely uh, exhaust pipes from Arc Performance. They are probably designed for the GTR, so this will be perfectly match to our GT without R. So I think that this should do the job. They are 10 centimeters in case of a diameter, so perfect, perfect size. And so I start to draw back to the drawings. I start to draw, make some drawings, and then I figured out that this might be not as uh, powerful. It might be not sufficient enough for the Twingo power. So I start to design a bit more. I start to design this. Then I design the elephant and some other human internals. I don't know how to call it, but this this won't work properly. I should also I also draw the Elmo, but I don't know if the Elmo. I also draw the snake. Nah, but I'm not sure which one gonna work perfectly with Twingo. So if you have any ideas, just give your feedback. What should be in this lovely beast? So please help me, guys, choose what I should do. I really like the elephant, to be honest. Elephant should really look nice and do the aggressive. Maybe it will be aggressive elephant, yeah. With some, nah, but ah, we'll see. We'll see. I need to figure it out. And if you have any ideas, just please share because this beast need to, to have a nice flow. Breathe nicely. What I also cannot wait to share with you is speak a bit more about this lovely machine. And what I would like to tell you is that as you, as you can see, it's lacking the hood uh, because it was after the hailstorm or something. I want to smooth it out before I will uh, make the further customization. And uh, yeah. As long as we have the engine outside, I have to tell you that I have the idea to make it naturally aspirated and to aim something closer to like 500 horsepower, so it could be a screamer, but still deliver some nice power. And uh, yeah, now I just need to find the engine to do the job. I'm really close to do that, to be honest, uh, but I, I think I will tell you more in the next one. But it should be woo, definitely a screamer. I cannot wait for that. Uh, that's the one thing that I just need to do. Okay, so the rims are on and the tires. We are just lacking the bumpers, but it just give it racing edge. Let's put it on the ground and see. It will be just nice oh yes it's a bit lower it's definitely a bit lower <laughs> and it's significantly wider too <laughs> as you can see it will look exactly like that <laughs> and i think that it suits it needs and its aspirations Spot on. The weather actually becomes very nice, as you can see, it starts to rain. Big. The Vigo is perfectly happy, it's shouty and it's in a great shape. Going back to the workshop because we need to put it back together and assemble some new parts. Stay tuned guys, cheers. Yeah. 